All right. Um, yeah, this was a request from Lydia Moore Alterbridge. I like this, matey. I've only done like a couple too, so um but this one sounds very Game of Thrones esque. Words darker than their wings. Cause yeah, Game of Thrones is what's it? Dark wings bring dark words. Um words darker than their wings. Um Live at the Royal Albert Hall. So yeah. And it's all a bridge as well, it's not Miles Kennedy by himself. But yeah, let's actually it may be because the last one I think was all a bridge and it was the two of them. But yeah, anyway, let's go. Okay, so um we have a very we have a special treat for y'all. And uh, there's a song that we've had uh, in our catalog for, when was this made? Seven years, something like, it's, it's been around for seven years. We made it on, uh, we recorded it on AB3. And fans have been asking for a long, long time, when are you gonna play this one special song? It's this one song. And these guys are like, oh, you know, Miles is gonna play it, because whatever, it's, it's just a high note thing, it's a big baby. So, I'm, I'm gonna man up. I'm manning up. I'm manning up. You guys wanna hear words darker than the wings or what? Okay. All right, let's do this. This is interesting. I don't think I've seen the other guy sing. It's always been Miles. He's got a good voice too. Mm. Very interesting. Oh, His range is mad. If I'm right, 
One guitar seems like it's doing a pattern much slower. There's a deep, really distorted guitar in there. That's like really. They must. They must have doubled the time for one or half the time for the other. It must because it's why drum and bass and hip hop meet perfectly because drum and bass is like. 170 to 190 BPM. Hip hop is like 90, 70, uh, 80 to 90, 70, 80, 90. So they like match if you play them together. But if you listen, there's his riff, I think, is higher and quicker. This is very almost like Zeppelin y, where they like. How John Bonham's guitar is, uh, how John Bonham's guitar, John Bonham's drums is like slower than the rest. Of, they're, they're playing at different times, but somehow working it. That's what it sounds like to me. It's hard to pick it up. <laughs> that was fucking epic. That's another one incredible epic. All them big. I didn't even notice until like they were in full flow. The violins and the orchestra behind. That was insane. Like, and both their voices working together. But Jesus, Miles Kennedy hitting that high note. He done it. His range is insane. 
insane range. <laughs> yeah, that was mad. That was mad. Fire, that was so fire. So, such a big sound too. And a weird song. It sounded like... There was parts of it that sounded like very kind of Pearl Jam. I think it's his voice that... I don't know. The, the first bit I was thinking is it's kind of a little Pearl Jam. It's not uh, uh, overly. It's just like... Yeah. You can hear... But then it almost turned into like metal or not quite metal, but just, yeah, that was mad. That feels like I say epic or incredible, but it sounds like it should be in a superhero movie of like Iron Man or something like that. That was fire, and it was a great song too. I wouldn't mind actually listening to yeah, Lydia. Definitely send me an acoustic if you haven't already. Um, yeah, that was fire. That was fire. This band is another band that we're gonna have to dip. But like I say. We've been slipping on the Chris Cornell recently. Even the Pearl Jam too. It's been a while since I've done Pearl Jam. Um, yeah. Fire. Fire. We definitely have to dig more. But I definitely want to hear an acoustic version of this. Now, because I it just sounds like one of them songs that would quite easily translate to guitar uh, acoustic guitar without that big epic sound, but it'd also be interesting to see what he does vocally with it being acoustic. I can't go over the high bit like he has a a great sounding voice anyway, but when he hits that high notes, it really is like jeez, because he hits it strong too. He's able to go up and down and move around that high octave vocal range, which is so impressive, especially for a man. Because once you hear, it's, it, it is harder for men, just like it's harder for women to hit the lower end. It's just how it is. Our voices is deeper. But, geez, can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. It's a big deal that they played the Royal Albert Hall, too. That's a big gig. It's crazy I don't know this band. But in saying that, it's the same as the others. Is like sound got like no one I know really talks about these bands. Like, but yeah, fire, fire, great request. But yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet.